Everton are in talks with Tottenham Hotspur about renegotiating the original terms of their agreement over Delhi. Uh, if successful, then Delhi could be given a chance to prove himself during pre-season training. That's what the reports are saying today. Uh, Delhi is currently training with the club, rehabbing from a groin injury that kept them out all of last season. Uh, and they'll be trying to earn himself a potential new deal. Uh, Alamayas reported today that Everton would only need to pay Spurs if there was a future sale, that's what sort of the kind of deal that Everton are trying to do with Tottenham. Listen, <coughs> Delhi, has, it's not worked out since we took him from Tottenham. I think that's fair to say. But Sean Dyche is a tough taskmaster. And, and if he feels like Delhi's worth another go, if he can prove his fitness and Everton can come up with a you know different terms for that deal, then <coughs> why not? Why not? It's up to the blad to prove that he is fit, prove that he can do it for Sean Dyche. And who knows, Everton may end up with a player who becomes a very good squad player for us over the next couple of years. But that is, at the moment, this is in its infancy. So we just have to wait and see. Quite clearly, Everton wouldn't retain Delhi on the terms that he signed from Spurs. It would be a reduced um, wage and everything else that goes with it. So let's see what happens as far as that one is concerned. Uh, Fenerbahce have been linked with a loan bid to sign Everton striker Beto this window. Uh, they also have an interest in Everton target Armando Breuer, who is, of course, at Chelsea. Uh, Jose Mourinho in there. This is this link has been around for a few weeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everton, if they are you know prepared to let Beto go, would want a sale because obviously they'd need to replace him. I just do not see Everton allowing their second choice striker. And he could well become their first choice striker if Dominic Calvert-Lewin was to leave the club, uh, going out on loan to Fenerbahce when uh, they do have to pay money to Udinese, who we signed them from last summer. The player will be trying to impress Sean Dice this pre-season. He didn't have a pre-season with Everton last year, of course. He arrived late in the August uh, transfer window, so... It's up to him to impress this time out. Um, a potential Everton target, Wilfred Ndidi, has agreed a new deal to stay with Leicester City. He signed a contract with the Foxes that will keep him at the club until 2027. Uh, if you're reading around this story, he's turned down a move to Sevilla because they didn't offer him enough money. And quite clearly, uh, Everton's um, deal was nowhere near as lucrative as what Leicester City's was. And therefore, the player has decided to remain where he is. And finally, Jordan Pickford looks set to win in 68 cap for England on Sunday as they take on Spain in the European Championship final in Berlin. Great opportunity for Pickford to, uh, to become a national hero by winning silverware and it. Uh, They've got a great chance. Listen, Spain have been excellent, but England are there. And um, they've seen to have got better as the tournament's gone on. Pickford has played a massive part in that. And uh, we wish Jordan all the best. Can he do it? We'll find out on Sunday night. Uh, we've got a video out with uh, Adam McCullough. Check that out regarding Jared Branthwaite. Adam McCullough from the uh, Paddock Stretford. Also see him on the club. He's been full-time Devils. Big United fans, a good lad. I had a chat with him about uh, his take on... Manchester United's view about Jared Branthwaite and um, go, go and have a watch of it. Why wouldn't you? Make sure you leave a comment there, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Enjoy the weekend. See you later.